Okay, uh, project update for August 30th. I uh, didn't spend too many hours out here today. Uh, had some other things to do this morning and uh, got out here around noon and it's coming up on 5. Um, so, um, a few things to show you that uh, have been done today. Uh, working in the stern of the boat today. Uh, trying to get some of these pieces out back here have been uh, pretty uh, pretty challenging. Um, poor light back here right now, but um, there's uh, there's a lot more difficult getting these back pieces out, especially on the um, starboard side because uh, the the flooring was actually in pretty good shape on this side. Uh, on the port side, though, uh, it came out a lot easier. Maybe I showed you that yesterday. Uh, but uh, what I have here is a, uh, um, now you can't see it. I'll have to show it to you in better light. Anyway, um, continuing with uh, work on the sides uh, and up front today. Uh, just uh, started uh, looking to see exactly how far up the wood comes and I pulled out a couple of chunks here uh, used my uh, sawzall to uh, cut this out after drilling a couple of uh, pilot holes. Um, where I'm stuck though on this is what to do with this this floor piece because uh, obviously it has to come out in order to get the stringers out, to get the decking out, uh, to get the new decking in, uh, to get the fiberglass on top of the decking, everything. So that piece has to come out. Um, what I'm struggling with is that is has got to be support for uh, the seats up front as well as for uh, this uh, piece here and the steering column piece here so um, so I'm a little bit worried about that because once I pull that floor out um, there's nothing left there and as you can see uh, through here there's no that drill, that's the one of the front storage compartments. I just have it sitting down in there. There's nothing holding up uh, those sides. But um, I think what I might do is uh, when I cut that out, when I get back around to getting the floor in, is on the side here, uh, just put a, put a piece of uh, wood. Um, and again, you can't see very well here, but uh, put a piece of wood in there. Uh, that will be vertical, and then I'll attach the uh, that side piece uh, there to the wood that'll be positioned vertically, and uh, that'll just that'll give it the support it needs, I'm sure. So that's probably what I'm gonna have to do, because um, that that floor piece has got to come out. Um, what I do in place of the floor piece is another question. Um, before, as, as you've seen in my initial videos, there was just carpet laying over that, so I may just be end up end up doing that same thing. Um, so that's where we are. Uh, starting to wonder if I'm going to spend more money on on tools than I am on uh, other things. Uh, so far, uh, just got the sawzall. Uh, picked that up today, and I may need to. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I'm going to have to get, but some of the finer um, cutting on the uh, on the fiberglass cover of the deck is uh, problematic, and uh, especially uh, getting in some of the tight areas, the solids all is kind of hard to fit in there. So I know some people have used Dremels. Um, I may need to do that. Um, I've always wanted a Dremel. I have one, but it's really small. Um, so, I guess if you're going to tackle this job, uh, best to have a circular saw, a uh, reciprocating saw, and probably a Dremel, um, and of course a, uh, a grinder. You're going to need those tools, and a crowbar, uh, and a spade. I would guess that those are the, the key key ingredients to getting the work done in addition to all your personal safety equipment. All right, I'll be back out here uh, tomorrow, Labor Day, yay, uh, but we have a barbecue in the afternoon, so I can only work on it so long. Anyway, take it easy.